Well, I'm actually a Wiccan. A what? A Wiccan. Wiccan. Male witch. Right. Oh. So I also have a magical name. It's Brother Phoenix East Horse. <laughs> Hi, I'm Steve Samples. And I'm Brad Raymond. This is our Icy Places instant movie review of um, that oh, thing she... Wait, wait, wait a second. Here, here. Before you say that, let me, let me give you a little... Uh, let me give you a riddle. Okay, a riddle. All right, all right. What yes. do you call something yes. with eight supporting actors? Yes. All right? It's and two actors. hours and nine minutes of life you will never see again. Roots. That guy is really not into you, or whatever the hell it's called. Yeah, he's not really that much all that into you. I, look, I thought it was a great movie. Oh, you thought it was a great movie? No, of course I, you did. I, I did. Well, oh, of course you okay, did. Okay, let me tell you what was great. Okay, first of all, it's 10 degrees outside right now. And it was 10 degrees on the last review as well. Yeah, so. which was 10 minutes ago. Yeah, the continuity is going to be incredible. <laughs> I dug my jacket up, though, so you wouldn't notice. Yes, I, I've actually uh, made one of my ears redder. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> oh, you feel that way? Woohoo, it's yes, cool. Yes, it's cool. So, anyhow, yeah, um, great movie. It was, uh, it was uh, Jennifer Anderson. And Ben uh, Affleck, uh, Drew Barrymore, Jennifer well, Connelly, okay. Kevin and, yeah, Connelly, and eight other supporting other actors, guy, and other girls, Chris Christopherson. Oh, my God. Um, by the time I finished, the movie will be over. No, but but no, it, it was well written. Uh, it was it was interesting. It, okay, I felt know, like I was watching a, an episode of Seventh Heaven. You know okay, what I mean? Okay. It, it was well, it was I really kind of like Seventh Heaven because I'm not. Uh, we have eight supporting actors. Yeah. There's not really anybody that stood out. I mean, you have a name like Jennifer Aniston, okay, but she's no, still no, a supporting no, 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 actress. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. There wasn't anybody no, 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 that grabbed no, 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 you and no, no. took you Jennifer in. Jennifer Aniston, she was like, no, no. no he, That's no, my no, point. She's no, nothing. No, 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 here's the point. To have all these great actors, or have all these well-known actors. Okay, that's fair. Very, to but, have all these well-known, well popular known. actors. No, on a TV have a, series. Have, and have a story. It was a bunch of TV people put into a movie. It was and like that's the problem. The, There's a took, reason they why they're on they TV. They took the, the cast of Friends <laughs> and cloned them twice and they made a movie. The cast of Friends, a guy who's in the Mac commercial, yes. and a, a guy who's on Entourage, and none yes. of them are, are too exciting. They don't have yes. too much personality, and that's exactly what the movie portrayed. It's really not that exciting. Nothing yes. really great. didn't draw you into anything. And it was very predictable. I mean, you know, not, not to say it was bad. No, this was just, this it was. Com I mean, I walked out. I walked out an hour later. It was a smartly ran, written movie. It was. It was smart. It was smart because it okay, was. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. What's so smart about saying exactly what is the it, truth about the, the guys? I mean, that was the only funny thing. Was the one character I from didn't the. Get it. I actually I liked know. the Mac guy. He was actually pretty funny. He had some good lines. Look, you seem like a cool girl, so I'm just gonna be honest with you. Connor's never gonna call you. Oh really? How do you know? Because I'm a guy, and it's just how we do it. He said it was nice meeting me. I don't, I don't care if he said you were his favorite female since his mommy and Joni Cunningham. Over a week went by, okay, Gigi? And he didn't call you. But maybe he did call and I didn't get the message. Or maybe he lost my number, or is out of town, or got hit by a cab, or his grandma died. Or maybe you just didn't call because he has no interest in seeing you again. Yeah. But my friend Terry once went out with a guy who never called. She totally wrote him off. Over a year goes by. Right. And she ran into him, and it ended up that they... Yo, your friend Terry's an idiot, and she's also the exception. And the rule is this. If a guy doesn't call you, he doesn't want to call you. Yeah, but I mean, as far as the other scenarios, it was very yeah. predictable. It's a chick oh flick. No, no, it's a chick flick, and that's why you liked it, Steve. But anyways, <laughs> but anyways, I didn't like it. I thought okay. it was predictable. Yeah, but anyhow. Anyways, I give this one... Um, I give the, I'm going to give this one a two, Lisa. I thought it was like whatever. I give it a you four. can miss it. You see it on DVD. You I give it a four. Do I get a four. You're not giving it a four. I give whatever I want. I'm, I'm oh, he's going to give it a four. So therefore, we'll it's going to get four to thing. We'll but but th mark no, my. No, we'll make it a three. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll make it three Lisas. Yeah, whatever. And it's a good chick movie. No, yeah, that I agree with. A it good is. date movie. For and I'm not saying. I guess I guess it's a good date movie for a husband or boyfriend or fiance that who wants to shoot himself. That screwed up. Yeah. Okay. One more point. This is my last point here. I was thinking about this after. I watched the movie. I'm yeah. sitting there. There's nothing good coming out of this movie. Not only is it a bad movie, in my opinion, it's a great movie. But if you go with your boyfriend or your girlfriend and you're having problems, you're breaking up after this movie. If you're married, <laughs> you're going to be questioned about cheating. And if you haven't found a date, it's probably because you like this movie. Because if you like this movie, you probably dude, never kissed dude, a girl. Dude, I can't feel my ears. Okay, so let's try. <laughs> I can't feel my ears. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna show you the uh, trailer. Yes, we will. And uh, I'm Steve Samuels. And I'm Bradley Day. And we'll see you after the movie. After the movies. First boy she ever liked. Why did you do that? Because you smell like dog poop. Honey, do you know why that little boy did those things? Because he likes you. That's the beginning of our problem. 
We're all programmed to believe that if a guy acts like a total jerk, that means he likes you. Hey, Connor, I hadn't heard from you, and I mean, how stupid is it that a gal's got to wait for a guy's call anyway, right? Because we're all equal, right? Um, more women are accepted into law school now than men. Call me. He's totally gonna call. This guy, he MySpaced me. Ouch. MySpace is a new booty call. Oh. You know, Annie gave me the old, I'll call you right back. Should I call back? Should you call back? No. I know. I'm gonna call back and say I'm going to bed. What? No. It's a genius idea. It's 9.30. I just need you to stop being nice to me unless you're gonna marry me. This feels like a trick. There are many people who never get married. Ooh. Look at Al Pacino. Never been married. Happy as a clam. Would that, am I, would I be Al Pacino in this scenario? No messages. Were you obsessing, pacing back and forth, staring at your phone for days? Maybe he lost my number, or is out of town, or got hit by a cab. Or maybe he has no interest in seeing you again. No guy actually wants to get married. And if they do, all they're really thinking about, all the women they're going to miss out on. I don't want to be with anybody else. I just want to be with Beth. I'm married. I don't do this. Mm -hmm. What if you meet the love of your life? Are you supposed to let them pass you by? So we're friends. Yeah. You know, you may be the best friend I've ever had. From New Line Cinema comes a comedy about meaning what you say. I gotta go to bed, though. Is that an invitation? What? Without <laughs> saying what you mean. Oh, God, that was cheesy. Monday, you can fall apart. Tuesday, Wednesday, break my heart. Thursday doesn't even... I had this guy leave me a voicemail at work. So I called him at home, and then he emailed me to my BlackBerry, and so I texted to his cell. And now you just have to go around checking all these different portals just to get rejected by seven different technologies. It's exhausting. Right.